been four days since Liquid arrived in the area. And since then, this woman's been with him. She doesn't look like a combatant. Probably some kind of advisor. Maybe a scientist. So one unit. Why? Something wrong with that? Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man and sniper. The sleeping giant is Jonathan. <clears throat> Don't stand behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. And finally... Johnny. Everybody just calls him Akiba. Commander, I've finished installing the sensors. <sighs> okay, Akiba. Anyway. You're all grown up. Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero, who suddenly disappeared. Uh. You quit the unit. Me? <laughs> I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. So, what are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT Security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action, whether he's State Army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nanomachines injected into their bodies for that purpose. The nanomachines keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nanomachines in you, too. Of course. Our unit plays by the rules, same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nanomachines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee. That's right. 
The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they manage to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. La le lu le lo. What are you talking about? Never mind. So this system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. <laughs> there can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway. Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even exceed the U.S. military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsoc heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. Disorderly conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover, inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs, and after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down. When we reported that we'd found Liquid, our superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. Didn't the Colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Campbell! Yeah. He put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you've got to be kidding! You expect me to work with my uncle? Meryl. This is bullshit. He's not my father. violation of the need-to-know role. Then... why are you still calling him uncle? You're still calling him Colonel. He's your father. As far as I'm concerned, we're still uncle and niece. I will never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. Meryl! He, uh... remarried. Really? His new wife's about my age. I hear she's even got a kid. 
It's as if he's given up on making up with his own daughter. Men. Selfish, egotistical pigs. Commander. What is it? There's 20 of them. And they're not from that PMC praying mantis either. It's the fraud. His private troops. Oh, crap. This is not good. Oh, oh. Were you being followed? No. Akiba! Uh, they might have seen the reflection off my scope lens. Whoa, wait, 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 hang on. You guys think it was my fault? Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh, it wasn't my fault. I swear. It wasn't my fault. Oh, man. Oh, look, I... What? Dumbass. We're moving out. Meryl, where's Liquid? At a camp up ahead. I'll fill you in later, if we're still alive. Follow me. and get out through the back door on the first floor. <laughs> we'll change the route as necessary. I'm on point. Stay close. Got it? Got, Got it. it. Akiba, breathe deep. <sighs> Got it. We've got a real live legendary hero with us. Try not to choke. <laughs> Move! Alright, so, even though the game hasn't introduced us to any of the Freak Show bosses yet, uh, this right here actually counts as the first boss fight. Aha. Uh -huh. This this unit, in itself, entirely is a boss? Yeah. Oh, hey, you did get the wallpaper. Yeah, I did. Hey, I like it. But, uh, you know, all these other, the Rat Patrol... Oh, Meryl, don't bump the barrel off me. These Rat Patrol people, they got tactics, but I got barrel tactics. <laughs> yes. Ugh. Yes. Does that actually kill them or just knock them out? It knocks them out. Barrel isn't that strong. You gotta get a spiky barrel. Upgrade your barrel. Man, I wish he could. But get one of the barrels from Mad World or something. <laughs> Set it on fire. But yeah, the um, this isn't the only time you see them, but um. The frogs are a lot stronger than normal soldiers in the game. Um, they have more... I'm just watching Snake go down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, he goes down them very gingerly. Um, well, one, they have a lot more health. Um, they have better AI. Uh, they also can cling onto walls. That's why they have those claw feet. <laughs> oh, like that, for yeah. instance. Yes. Also, they're all women. There isn't a uh. single male frog. They're all women. So, this is reminding me of that time Spider-Man killed all, all the, Turks. the Turks. All the Every Turks were one. killed by Spider-Man. Had to do a lot of time traveling. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Why, why, why do they glow blue? 
<laughs> What's up with that? Oh, um, because they have super high... Oh, Johnny gives us that, by the way. Um, their suits are, like, really high-tech, like, classified stuff. Whoa, so are their whoa. nanomachines. So when they die, in order to prevent enemies from getting a hold of the tech in the suit or the nanomachines, uh, their suits burn up when they die. Aha. Uh -huh. So yeah, the, the frogs self-destruct once the, once they die, so nobody can steal their body secrets. <laughs> it, it's like the final lesson in a really intense uh, self-defense class for women. <laughs> now look, you got no other options to blow yourself up. Just vaporize yourself. Your rapist might be a necrophiliac. There's only one way to be sure. Vaporize yourself. Also, Johnny never once shoots a single bullet in this entire fight. He'll just be hiding in corners, never do it. Johnny, anything. you suck. I hate you, Johnny. <laughs> you can at least use your ass as a smoke grenade. <laughs> oh, hey, there's an iPod song over there. There's an MP3 over here in the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a music. It, it's the jukebox. The jukebox exploded, and it left behind an MP3. Oh, wow. That's nice. Ouch. Snake, you better eat some noodles. Yeah, better switch over to some rations. Also, since this is on hard mode, combat is actually a little tough. On normal, it's really easy. Um, on hard, bullets actually chew, go through your health pretty fast, so you actually do have to use cover. A little. There isn't really a cover system. You can press up against walls, but really just duck behind stuff. That's how it works. Wow, that can just flew over from one table to the other. Also, guns can shoot through objects. If they're gunny enough. If they're gunny. One of the... When you look at a gun in the menu and it has all those different categories, one of them is penetration, and the higher it is, the thicker the surface you can shoot through. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, like, yeah. different objects actually have penetration ratings? Yeah. You're getting CQC'd! Yeah, they can actually counter CQC you if, they, if they're aware of you. Um, you can, if you wiggle the stick enough, you can actually flip over them and smash them into the ground. Nice. Which I was trying to show off, but Meryl shot the person off me. Oh, hey, it's music from Melvier, too. Why would you want that music? I don't know. You, you could just be having a very calm, pleasant stroll and think you're under fire constantly. <laughs> yeah, um... There's only a couple guns that can, like, shoot through concrete walls. Um, they're, like, late in the game. But, like, assault rifles One and would stuff, assume, yeah. you can shoot, like, through tables and, like, thin wood cover. I really like this fight. Yeah, it's actually pretty fun. I, it I, is I like the idea that they're chasing you out of your own base. Mm -hmm. Also, I like that you've got four, like, well, I wouldn't say four competent. Oh, yeah, and they, if you, when you walk through them, they disintegrate. Um, ah, they've been eaten by Metroids. Uh, but, um, I don't know, I like that you fight alongside a team of mostly competent people, aside from Johnny. Well, he's Johnny on the spot, with, with the ammo and the whatnot. Well, yeah, at least he gives you stuff. He's helpful in that regard, I guess. Johnny, take off your mask. I want to see what it's like to be a whiny little pansy like you. I bet you look like Otacon. And hey, here's a good, here's a good place to regenerate some health while we watch this happen. Contact! S Snake, I can hear your pill alarm. T take your blood pressure medication. <laughs> Wait, I gotta take all my pills. It's about five. Cover me. I'm almost done with pill. Oh, oh, childproof caps. Mm -mm. Ready. Just stomp down on the pill with one foot and shoot the cap off. Is it, is it possible to get any of these guys killed by really sucking at this? Yeah, actually. If you're if you don't if you just like run ahead of run ahead of them, 
or just sit around for a really long time and never shoot anybody, except for like this part because it's scripted. Um, but yeah, they can die. Metal Gear Solid 4 is a first. I cannot recall any other game where I literally saw a character shit themselves in the game. <laughs> right in front of you, too. Yeah. And then GTA 4 also did it. Well, there you go. But that, that's only two games I've ever seen. Industry-wide innovation. Game. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid is a big innovator. It was the first, first game to have uh, real-time pooping. Not even sense. Where, where's the hot coffee mod for Metal Gear? <laughs> you get to see old, old Snake be impotent. Oh, oh no, Snake. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Otacon. Oh no. Meryl. Uh, uh, Johnny. Uh, oh no, Johnny! <laughs> this has oh, never sorry. happened to me before. <laughs> I've, I've never had the chance, actually. So. I guess this has always happened just, to me before. It was just something on my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good movie. I enjoyed it. Having sex is right underneath Meet Danny Glover. <laughs> I, I could have combined the two if I wanted. He's a very... We could have, but our schedules didn't... Understand man, if you, if you know what I mean. We could have, but our schedules didn't really match up. <laughs> oh no. He, he passed out right in front of the toilets. <laughs> Poor Johnny. Exactly where he wants to be. <laughs> it's 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 appropriate, is what it is. Oh. Again, let's try to show off the CQC counter, but uh, 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 uh. nope. Meryl shot her Damn off. Damn Meryl! I'm trying to be a badass hero. I did like that because I was still spinning even after she shot the person off me. That I just spam in place for a little bit. How many frogs are there? There are a lot. There are a lot of frogs. It's almost like an entire army is Liquid's private army. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> You're so nimble, too. Woo! When I said before that I liked the fight, it's because I thought it was over. Oh, well, it's pretty close. It's kind of draining me now. A little bit. There's like one room left. So do they actually follow you room to room, or like if, if you run past, the ones behind you just won't chase you, or? Uh, what, they follow you. Like? They do follow? Okay. Yeah. Could you conceivably run all the way to the next cutscene without taking any of them out, or um, minimal, and, and they just wouldn't follow you after the cutscene, maybe? Uh, Have you never tried that? I think that would happen. I've never actually tried it. There, there is, um, there is a reward for not killing any of them. You'll see that in like the next video. So instead of following following them down, we go across here, and this is where all the goodies were. Oh. Oh. And the thing we, the custom part we picked up, was a grenade launcher, but we can't use it yet because we don't have the rifle it goes to. Oh. I, I, can you pick it up and put it in your pocket? Yes. Okay, good. Um, I don't even know if you can get that rifle at this point. I don't think Drebin actually sells it yet. You can get it next next chapter though. Drebin, sure. you're falling behind, monkey man. Jeez, Revan. Yeah, this is the final room. I bet it is. <laughs> the boss is construction equipment. No, it's not. Oh. I would have enjoyed that, but it, yeah. it doesn't happen. One of the bosses is construction equipment in Other M. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I remember that boss, actually. I like that boss. <clears throat> 
Ooh. Oh, and if they're like on the ceiling, you can just shoot them once and they die. They get extra unhealthy when they're upside down for some reason. Their toes take a lot out of them. Yeah. Ah. Snake, why? They had to die. They have what? weird toes. What did they do to you? They have weird toes. I bet their feet are bound like Chinese they have, women. They have giant thighs. Also, look look how little damage this pistol does to them. <laughs> Barely anything. Ouch. What's wrong with giant yeah. thighs? One of your best friends has giant thighs. Yeah, that's true. Ugh. Oh my goodness, those boxes do not stop bullets. Ouch. Lie down, Meryl, help. Lie down. Lie down. Meryl, help. God damn it, lie down. You used a ration, you loser. Oh no, I used a ration. Whoop. Oh, they got the last person. Oh well. Why don't you just lie down? Hmm. Oh man, there's something over there. I gotta get. I gotta get that thing. Oh. Johnny rolled off the side and died. The end. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, it was smoke grenade. Got smoke G! And, and an energy drink. Whee! The nanomachine network inside each unit member's body lets us share each other's senses. They can see what I see. And it helps control pain. Is that part of the system, too? With SOP, my team can literally operate as one. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. So, what do you think? Is your age of heroes finally over? <laughs> I'm no hero. Never was. Never will be. You haven't changed at all, Snake. But... Your body... Are you gonna be alright? This getup doubles as a muscle suit. I can still get around. Liquid's camp is up ahead. 
I'll mark it on your map. Thanks. Akiba! One man's blunder can compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, Commander. Be careful, Snake. I know where Liquid is. Yeah, I'm confirming the location. It's to the north of where you are. Meryl's really changed, hasn't she, Snake? She's a lot more self-assured. <laughs> I wonder how much of that has to do with the system. The senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them. Seems once you're under the system's control, you don't even need experience at all. It even beats that VR training that was all the rage a few years back. Yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. It's also made the child soldier phenomenon more problematic than ever. Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You think so? That geek kid, Akiba. He was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy... He didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's gotta have more than that. The times have changed, Snake. Just like Meryl. <sighs> Snake, hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Meryl told us, Liquid should be there. 